Amen. This is the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, located in the USA, the United States of America. We just an outreach ministry who love to testify about what God has done for us inside of our life. I know people have a lot of things that God has done for them inside their life, but what's the testimony if God is not involved in your life? Some people are still living in their testimony. But when you come outside the world, the pollution of what the things that the devil had you doing, you'll be able to testify about how good God has been to you. Some people ain't even here to tell a testimony. Some people is dead and gone. And periodically you'll hear a minister who know them people or tell their testimony for them. But I want to tell my own testimony. About what God has done for me. Go ahead, brother. So back in the days when I was out there rebelling, didn't want nothing to do from God, drinking and smoking, clubbing. When I was out there lying and stealing and cheating and running around with people that was like-minded with me, just a mischievous young man. I had no idea that God would deliver me one day. On. And all of a sudden I'd be interested in reading my Bible, interested in praying. One thing about my interest, it had to change. Because right. I was interested in the things of the world, but now I'm interested in things of God. Oh, Ask yourself, in the beginning of 2024, where's your interest today? Hey, A lot of people are old, and some are still interested in the things that teenagers do. That oh. means somewhere in their life, they ain't grew up yet. Oh, some people go to church, and you talk to them about the Bible, they don't know nothing about the Word. And been there 10, 20, and 30 years. Ask yourself, all the time you've been going to church, what in the world are you learning in church? Because right. it's more than just occupying a space in the pew. It's more than just digging in your pocket and putting your tithe and offering in the collection plate. Right. It's more than women in red, anniversary, pastor's anniversary. Because none of that I read is in the Bible. Oh. One thing about the Bible, you have to obey the Bible. Yeah. And how can you obey anything you don't know nothing about? Oh. See, I realize that church, it comes from within. You got to have the church on the inside. Hey, that means you got to know what the church look like. Man. You got to know what the church sound like. That's why Jesus said upon this rock, I'm going to build my church because 26 AD when he was baptized by his cousin John in the river of Jordan, the spirit came inside of him and he changed from being under that law to becoming the church. Man. Now Peter, James, John, Bartholomew, Andrew, all those people that decided to follow him, they had an eyewitness on what the church of supposed to look like. That's why they followed him. That's why when Jesus died they started to do the same thing Jesus did. Right. They was the church themselves. Oh, a lot of people, hey. they can't become the church because they don't even know what the church looks like. Oh, That's the job oh. of the church of the Lord oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. Young men and women who got the spirit inside their life. See, now we can go forward and show the world what the church looks like. Because people don't know. And you have to judge by the spirit. That's why the Bible says, believe not every spirit. Oh. Every time somebody pack a Bible, quote a Bible verse, wear a suit and tie, People are easily manipulated to think that they are a man of God. See, I ain't manipulated like that no more. I gotta open up my ears and get what you're preaching. Those folks got false doctrine in the land. People come to church just to play with God. Church is no longer for salvation. Church is now a big business. That's why so many people want to get involved in the church because it's all about the filthy lucre. It's all about the money. It's all about those who go in the way of Balaam. After the game saying a Corey, but us, we ain't got nothing to game say other than the false doctrine hey. that preachers tell. They can't gain something that we say, cause we coming sincerely out of the word of God, opening up the scriptures. We want you to know the truth, because the truth is what made us free. And that's why we are here. Because we know what being free feel like. Not just free from the cares of the world, but free from the lies that preachers tell. Flooding the spiritual airways with nothing but false doctrine. They want you to believe what they say. Now, I want to believe what you read, not this word. You got to line this thing up, and it starts with the fundamentals. You can't build a house from the shingle down. You got to build a house from the foundation up. What your foundation look like? What are you trying to really convey to the people? What are you about? people they don't know a man who have the word in his heart is free from the cares of the world free from sin living holy righteous separated from sin see you can't preach to me with sin in your life that's why john the baptist was able to baptize jesus because he had the holy ghost from his mother's womb god set that situation up perfectly because god won't go have no sinner baptizing his son and jesus ain't gonna have no preacher with sin 
sin in their life, preach it to his flock. That's why we preach that if you got sin in your life, don't preach to me. You better get your life right. Come on, brother. Go ahead. Uncovering things up. Go ahead. Uncovering things in this world today is what people fail to do. The reason why, because there's so much they got to hide. But see, our life is like an open book. Hey. We realize coming to God means somewhere in your life you are sincere and you have to remain sincere. The devil's whole job is to take away your sincerity in this journey with Jesus Christ. But our job is every time things get tough, we lean more on Jesus to keep our sincerity intact because ain't nothing like being sincere. Sincere, serving God. The doors he'll open. Not just financial doors, but he'll open up spiritual doors. Right. He'll open up your eyes to what the devil is doing or trying to do to you in your life. Because we know what Satan's seed is in the synagogue. That's why we preach by the Spirit so we won't sit in that seat that the devil is sitting in. Come on. See, we already know what the devil got going on in the world, how he transformed his ministers to ministers of righteousness. See, the devil transformed himself into an angel of light. That means he looked like a preacher, sound like a preacher. But let's get in this word and see if you're really capable and got what it takes to preach God's word. See, ain't nothing like opening up the Bible and catching up a false prophet in his life. Not trying to condemn nobody, but we just want people to come up to the standard of Jesus. Christ, because sin will separate you from the truth of God, and the truth of God mixed with the Spirit will separate you from sin. Because it's something about being sincere with God. He'll open up the floodgates and bless you with all the riches and the honor and glory that He got right there in heavenly places. That's why we preach that God keep our mind in heavenly places. He got go to prepare a place for you, and where I am, you shall be also. Well, where is Jesus? Well, the Bible say with two or three are gathered together. Together in his name, he right there in the midst, in the midst of what? In the midst of his people. Where's his people inside of his church? Where's his church? His church is you if you have been baptized in his name and filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. That's his church. So, what are you waiting on? How many people out there going to all these different YouTube channels? Trying to find somebody to tell them the truth. But they continually get highly disappointed. Because nobody's telling them that it's a very significant thing to get baptized in Jesus' name. Well, you might say, preacher man, I read Matthew 28, 19. It says, be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. What I'm telling you right now, I know exactly where you're at. I was there once upon a time in my life. But I realized it said in the name of them. And I realized nobody baptizing the title, but they use that same name that Jesus said use. You gotta know the name of the Father. You gotta know the name of the Son. You gotta know the name of the Holy Ghost. Once you find out that name, you will find out the answer. And you will go and seek out how to get baptized in Jesus' name. Come on, brother. Go ahead, bro. This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. We have a powerful church with powerful men, powerful women, old and young. You might say I'm 60 years old, 70 years old, where you can bear for a fruit in your old age. See, don't cut yourself short because you might feel like that your time is well spent on this earth. You done did too much wrong for God to forgive you. Well, I'm here to tell you. See, God is reaching out to you right now. If God is dealing with you right now, it is not too late. If you shedding tears right now, for God's sake, it is not too late. If you want a closer walk with God and he's been tugging at you for years, it is not too late. But you don't want to be sad that it's too late because we all got to die. It's appointed once for a man to die. After that, it is the judgment. But a man's job in this world is to find the spirit and the truth before he cross over either to everlasting life or everlasting torment. You got to make up your mind while the blood still running warm in your veins. Come on, brother. Go ahead, brother. Why the blood still running warm in your veins? Come on, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, Lord. This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. One day when I was lost, I met a wonderful man. Wiped away my tears, took the sweet down to my ears.
Lord, for that beautiful song, sir. Yes, Lord, amen. Thank you, Jesus. We, we just waiting on our, our shepherd to get on, get on in here. But we're going to continue to lift up Jesus, spirit and the truth. We know God is good. A lot of us know God is good. A lot of us has been in situations we only know God is the one who brought us out of the situation. It wasn't nothing that we did. It was God who done it. A lot of us got things with the side of us that we dare to tell anybody. But as long as we know what God has done for us, that's all that matters. A lot of people that I know have survived car wrecks, have, 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 have even slept with women that had detrimental diseases and came out and didn't get that disease. And yet and still, they still out there doing whatever they want to do. It's something how the, the mind of a person do things and then feel like it was them that brought themselves out. They fail to give honor and glory to where it is due. But in this church, we're going to give honor and glory to God because he is deserving to get all the honor and glory. That's why we come to church. We come to church for different reasons than what the world go to church for. I'm not saying everybody out there in the world come to church for their own selfish reason. But to generalize it, a lot of people do. Getting caught up in tradition of men. Not understanding that it's two types of tradition. The tradition of man and there's a tradition of God. See, God's tradition came through his son, Jesus Christ. You know the, the son that people still reject to this day? Even though they call on his name, when it's time to line up to what the Bible say do, they don't want that. They want to hold the truth and unrighteousness. But if you want to hold the truth and unrighteousness, how long you going to have the truth? Did you got it? Why? Because Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And one thing about the truth, he is not going to be with unrighteous folks. Why? Because unrighteous folks don't want him. How many people want to be with somebody that don't want you? Everybody want to be with somebody that loves them, appreciate them, cherish them, respects them. Well, Jesus wants the same thing. That's why he came and died. He died to show the church how much he loved them. And in the return, we are showing Jesus how much we appreciate him for dying on that cross. How do we show that appreciation? We show that appreciation by lining up with God's word. And by lining up with God's word, we already know that what God's word say, it goes and can't nothing diminish the truth. You might try to manipulate the truth to try to gain your own self for whatever reason. But one thing about the truth is forever settled in heaven. That's why when we speak the truth, we don't try to change it. We keep it as it is. Like the old saying say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the word of God is not broke. It's been working this long, so we're going to stand on the foundation. How many people out there, depending on the foundation, to be inside their life? There's a whole lot of people like that. That's why we are holding on to the foundation, so we can have something to give to those people who are depending on this foundation. The foundation is the truth. People don't want the truth, but that don't mean we're not going to preach it. A lot of folks ain't going to like you for telling the truth, but that don't mean tuck your tail, back up from what God has had for you to do. That means go forth even more so with power, just like Jesus did. See, Jesus knew that nobody liked him. I don't care if you're doing wrong. It's still somebody that don't like you right now. So you might as well get disliked for telling the truth. A lot of times people are so afraid to be straightforward with somebody. But how many people know sometimes to show love is to be straightforward? You can't cut no corners all the time when it comes down to the word of God. you got to be up in front with people. People want to pancake people in the saying that they committing. You got to watch out for those folks. Because those type of people, they got a hidden agenda. But we ain't got no hidden agenda. That's why we don't accept money from the congregation. We accept our earnest money from the Holy Ghost and fire. Because people will turn their back on you. Soon as you say something that they don't agree with, they gonna turn their back on you. They gonna cut the tithing offering a little bit short. But that's why we don't preach money. Because we gotta preach with a freedom. We gotta preach whether it hurt you or not and I pray that if it hurts you that hurt would heal and once it's healed it'll lead you the right direction the right direction is right here at the altar where the mercy of God is we all have to go there I shed many tears at the altar I prayed many prayers at the altar the reason why because I was tired of doing the things that I was doing it wasn't working for me the trick of the devil make you think that you could do the same thing and get 
different results. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Oh. You a call of God. God hey. got something for you. So don't allow the devil to try to strip you of your blessing. You got to know how to rebuke that devil when he try to infiltrate your thoughts and make you rise up against that which is right. Everybody say that they right, but can't nobody really, really prove it in the word of God. Oh. Everybody say they right. But see, we stand on God's word. The truth must be told. See, we can't sit back and say that God ain't blessed us with the truth. The reason why we are standing and fighting the fight that we do, because we have something to fight for. Right. People fight, but what are you fighting for? People oh. preach, but what are you preaching? People read their Bible, but what spirit are you reading your Bible with? Because it matters. You can't say you got God and lie to God's word. Hey, hey, that hey, don't add hey. up. That's not the gospel. The gospel will line you up first, make you a righteous man. That way when you preach, people can't look at you and say you are not preaching, living what you preach. Hallelujah. See, that's what we do. On, we man. line up ourselves first with the word, and then God give us the unction to go out and preach his word. Man. See, we can't be out there preaching and living any kind of way. I don't care how many false prophets rise and say that you can't help but sin just a little bit. Show me that in the Bible. See, one thing about Jesus, he said that he'll give me some strength. That's right. why I came to church. He said he'll take away lying from my mouth. Right. That's why I came to church. He, he said he'll keep me from looking at women with an evil eye. Right. With a lustful right. eye. That's why I came to church. I didn't come to church to be worse. I came to church to be better. And don't say that they are a better man, better woman. When you can be morally good. Ask Paul. He said that you can give to the poor. Give your body to be burned. But if you ain't got charity, you ain't got nothing. Right. Ask yourself what is charity. The charity is the spirit of God. The love of God thinking no ill to his neighbor. Right. The love of God is pure, righteous, undefiled. The love of God, I have you in the Bible. Amen. Seeking out the truth with a sincere heart. The love of God, which is the Holy Ghost and fire. I have you preaching baptism in Jesus' name. Because that's the gate that leads to life. People want life, but people don't want to line up to the truth. See one thing about us, we lined up to the truth and then we got the light. See, that's how it goes. Now, what do you want from this, from this world? Oh, yeah, G. Ask yourself what you want from this world. Come on, brother. Everybody. Oh. We got the pastor here. Hey, Amen. I hope y'all got some. From, come on, pastor. Come a long way. Not by myself. Come a long way with Jesus' help. I can never forget where you brought me from and for choosing me for his very own. I've come a long way.
Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Praise God for your goodness, your mercy. Just for having love and kindness. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you think of God, you go to thinking of His Son, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it's so good to know Jesus. And the Lord be done sought us out to perform a work for Him. We're doing His will. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That way, we'll make a preparation for hereafter. See, there's an end and result somewhere. And at the end of our walk, praise God, you want them to say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You fought a good fight. See, in this life, you look at it, it's a real battle going on. And praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Well, God began to come into our life and show us how to war. Huh? Come on. He told us to put on the whole armor of God. Right. Right. Huh? Right. An armor? Come on, you put an armor on to go to battle. Thank you, Lord. But my Bible said weapons are warfare are not corner. But mighty do God to the pulling down the stronghold and casting down imagination in every high thing that exhort itself against the knowledge of God. Right. Huh? So God got knowledge. Come on, brother. Well, when we take on God's knowledge, pray God, we'll put the armor on. Amen. Hallelujah, glory to God, because this battle that we fight is not a natural fight. Go ahead, huh? It's spiritual. Because we're coming against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right. I pray God spiritual wickedness in high places. See, if there's a natural battle, you, hallelujah, glory to God, you judge that person by how they look or stand and say, well, I can do this. You set your strategy up and how you go to defend. Come on, bro. Well, when you can't see it with your natural eye, how would you fight this battle? Well, you get the knowledge of God, praise God. Hallelujah. This is where we at, praise God. Oh, yeah, Lord, praise God. Thank you, Lord, praise God. Yeah, your Bible us. Amen. Go to Isaiah, the 52nd chapter, by the first verse. And we'll see here. Whoa, God. Thank you, Lord. See, praise God. You go to thinking about this. That's an end of result somewhere. You're trying to get somewhere. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Like the minister, you know, he fight. Not against nobody. Come on. But it's a spiritual warfare. That's right. Come on, brother. It's a spiritual warfare. Praise God. And this is where he at. This is where we are at. Huh? Praise God. Isaiah 52nd chapter. First verse. Alright? Hey, wake, hey, wake. He said to awake. Awake. Put on our strength. Well, we read over in the New, New Testament, he said, awake and die there and sleep it. Huh? He said, arise from the dead and Christ go give thee life. Huh? So, pray God, hallelujah, he's trying to get you to awaken. He said, put on what? strength. See, you got to put on some strength. Uh, in the natural, you put on natural strength. Huh? Well, pray God, hallelujah, this warfare that's going on, you got to have strength too. Pray God, hallelujah, the strength that you put on is not natural. Go ahead, brother. I pray God, hallelujah, you put it on by words of wills and knowledge. Understanding of God. When Jesus wanted to defend the devil, he didn't come with nine sticks and stuff. See, Peter, 
when Jesus called him 12, Come on. praise God, he knew that there was a warfare going on. And they came to take Jesus, Peter, pulled his sword. Go ahead, brother. He cut the man here, but Jesus told him to put your sword back in your shield. Go ahead, brother. Put your sword up, your natural sword back up. Yes, Lord. Uh, this ain't the warfare that I come to do. Come on, uh, I come to fight, though, pray God, but not natural, go pray go God. Go well, here we are today. Uh, we come to fight, but it ain't a natural battle. It's a spiritual battle, pray go God. Go come on, Jesus. It's a spiritual battle. I uh, pray God, hallelujah. Glory to God, pray God. Come on. Oh, time. He said, Put on that strength, oh Zion, oh church. church. Yes, Lord. Talking about the church now. Lord, Zion is the church. Yes, Lord. Zion, not the building. Come on, the building, not the church. No, All the building do is keep you out of the wealth. Yes, but pray God, you got to put the strength on. Yes, when you come here, pray God, and you put on strength. Yes, when you get here, you learn how to walk back. Yes, uh, you get here, pray God, hallelujah, pray God, in this heavenly realm Amen. that we are in. Yes, Lord. And you learn to know that something is going on. Oh, right. Something is going on. Yeah. Huh? Pray God, hallelujah. See, the thing is, God don't come down to your level. You got to come up to where he is to see what he's speaking of. Yeah, Lord. Come on, brother. Huh? See, the devil, pray God, wanted to know who Jesus was. Huh? Come on. He wanted to know. But pray God, hallelujah. Jesus told him, pray God. They asked him, are oh, Dr. Christ? He said, thou say it. Huh? Yeah, Lord. He said, thou say it. Well, they wanted him to get out on the limb, pray God, so he can cut it off. So that they can destroy it. But pray God, the thing is, pray God, glory to God. He wanted them to put forth what? Hey, you see the work that I do. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I do it in my father's name. Go ahead, Go ahead, they were wondering what was taking place. Come on. Huh? His wills and his words. Pray God, the enemy, pray God, didn't like that. Wanted to find a way how to be able to stop it. Go ahead, brother. But he was unstoppable. Oh, uh, he had to run his court. Yes, he said, put on that strength. Oh, Zion. Oh, Zion. Put on that beautiful garments. Put on your what? Beautiful garments. Mean it start with a garment? Yes, sir. Come on, brother. A garment. Yes, Come on. Huh? Well, your garment, you call that being clothes. That's right. Well, hallelujah. Well, you know you didn't come here without clothes. Huh? But you put on more clothes. Come on. Amen. Huh? Well, your body already clothed. Yes, Lord. But what about that inward man? This is what you put the clothes on. Yes, Why are you putting up on him? On that inward man. Hey, Come on. On Jerusalem. On Jerusalem. The holy city. The what? Holy city. He called you a city, a holy city. Holy city. Same thing Jesus had in the Matthew gospel. Huh? He said, ye are the light of the world. A city that set on a hill, which cannot be hid. Huh? He said, let your light shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your who? Oh, so we're here to get you to glorify God. Yeah. Now, you're not glorifying man. You're glorifying God. Praise oh, God. Hey, Hallelujah. Praise God. To glorify God. Amen. Come on. From henceforth, there shall no more come into thee. From henceforth, there shall no more come into thee. The uncircumcised and the unclean. No what? The uncircumcised and the unclean. See, when we think of uncircumcised, a man gets circumcised. Huh? Pray God for how the woman get circumcised. He said, that shall no more come in. Uncircumcised or unclean. Well, he ain't talking natural. Come on. Ain't got nothing to do with the natural. Oh. But what about your heart? Hey, what about your mind, pray God? Yeah. When you put the mind of Christ on, pray God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're circumcised in the heart. Amen. See, he called it your heart. I uh, pray God, hallelujah, glory to God, in the unclean, huh? Because you will be digging a heavenly day. Amen. You will put the mind of Christ on Amen. in your mind going into heavenly day. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Yes, you don't see now the earthly thing and what the earth produce, huh? But well, what about the things that's of God? Huh? Pray God, help to fill you up, pray God, to draw you closer. To get your clothes. Come on with it. Ain't thyself from the dust. He said it's changed thyself from where? The dust. What did Jesus say? Come on, bro. He told them all have sinned yes, and come what? Short. Short of the glory of God. Huh? It's in the book. It said all have sinned and come short of the glory of what? Of God. Well, he telling us. Just shake ourselves from that. Come on, brother. Go ahead. Huh? Right. Don't just dwell and stay right there. Come on. And pray God and say, well, I'm born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Huh? Get out of that. Come on. Huh? Go ahead, brother. Come on. Get out of that. Pray God. Go ahead, Don't let your mind stay there. Huh? Pray God born in sin, shaped in iniquity. You wasn't born in no sin. Sin come when you take on the knowledge of the law. Huh? Pray God you a boy didn't know no sin. You take that little baby, ask that little baby, hey, what kind of sin had this child did? When you go pray God and go to look at that sin and what God show what sin is. Come on. Huh? Pray God, hallelujah, glory to God, to show them what sin was. He gave them the Ten Commandments. Well, you take one of them child and see how many of them broke the Ten Commandments. Huh? Well, pray God, hallelujah. Well, how are you born in the sin and shaped in the negative? Well, it's time to wake up from the dust. Glory to God. Rise from that. Arise from that. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, when the Israel was, that's why he gave that. That was imposed upon them. Come on, come on, come on. Huh? Because glory to God, they kept overriding their conscience. Huh? On, they kept going forth. Well, they taking on this sin and said, well, you can't help us sin. Huh? Well, pray God, hallelujah, glory to God. How were you born? Come on. Huh? They said you were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Born. Pray God in sin. Pray God you had. Pray God you were doing this. Come on, when a child come in this life, that child receive what you give them. That's right. Whatever they learn, that's what they take on. When they start taking on that nature of sin, nature, they don't learn it from somewhere. Right. They on, did not have that in their mind. Come on, right. If that was, pray God, that child been born rich in, wouldn't it? I uh, wouldn't even have to go to work. Why? Because he rich. He's been born in his mind. But it ain't like that. Pray God. It's what been put in there. Come on, huh? Pray God. Hallelujah. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down. Arise and sit down. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bears of thy neck. Huh? Say he wants you to sit down. Huh? Arise and sit down. Huh? Don't you know? Pray God, when them people was in the upper room on the day of Pentecost, it filled all the place where they were sitting. Where, huh? They were sitting on something. They won't sit on the stool to do that. But they were sitting. Huh? They were sitting. Huh? Where they were sitting. Huh? Pray God, they had something in their mind. Come on, brother. Not on the seat. Come on. Huh? Pray God. He said, rise and do what? Sit yeah. down. Sit down. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands that I knit. And loose thyself from the bands of thy neck. Oh, captive daughter of Zion. See the thing here? She was in captivity. Come on, read, brother. Well, you look at her. Jesus told her we all have sinned. That's right. And come short 
That's our captivity right there. Come on, brother. Short comes. Now we got to break that. Man. We got to find a way to break that. Huh? There's a battle going on, right? Yeah. So how are you going to break this, huh? Oh. Oh. huh? Pray God taking on the knowledge of him. Amen. Huh? Not pray God taking the knowledge of man. You take on the knowledge of God. Amen. That's what's going to help you to break that. That's what's going to help you to rise up. That's what's going to help you to shake yourself from the dust. Huh? You're not going to continue in that. Because glory, hallelujah, pray God. Thank you, Lord. He said there shall no more come in the uncircumcised and the uncleanness. Huh? So pray God. Here you are right there. What we going to see here? My God, praise God. Glory to God. Go to first king. 16 and 1. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, praise that holy name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is our warfare. Come on, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? See, the devil said, You can't do it. He tried to stop Jesus, didn't he? Uh -huh. Jesus proved him that he could. But he told us all things are what? Possible to them that do what? Believe. Huh? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So praise God. That gave you hope right there. Amen. So you won't have to stay on a certain level. Go ahead, brother. You got hope. Huh? See, my Bible said, hope, make it not a shame because of the love of God. Yes, Lord. It's shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Praise God. All right? First King. 16 1. In the word of the Lord came to Jehu. He said, then the word of the Lord came to who? Jehu. Jehu. Son of Hannah against Bashan. The son of Hannah against Bashan. Saying, for as much as I exhorted thee out of the dust. For as much as I did what? Exhorted thee out of the dust. Wait a minute. He was exhorted out of the dust. Come on, bro. Come on. Well, he told the church to get out of the dust. Yes, sir. Right. Shake ourselves from the dust. Come on. Huh? Pray God. Hallelujah. Well, the Lord will get you out of that. Well, when you find yourself in the sun, pray God, you wonder how do you get there? You can be building on something. Come on, brother. Tell it, bro. And you're making that your foundation, huh? But if your foundation is in the dust, it ain't serving no purpose. Glory to God. Uh, because you got to come up out of there, huh? But hear the Lord, glory to God. Go have a great preacher that go throw you a line to show you how to get out of that dust, huh? To help you to get out. To help you out of that dust. Huh? So you can sit down on the promise of him. On his promise. Well, you go to think of what did God promise you, huh? What did he promise you, glory to God? What did he promise you? How you can sit down upon his promise? Huh? Well, hallelujah, praise God. When he promised something, you can hold on to it. You can bank on that, huh? Because there's a promise. Huh? There's a promise. See, he cannot go against his word. Huh? Come on, come on. Uh, if he said it, it came out of his mouth. Come on, come on. Uh, and it is well done. Huh? When they come out, praise God. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Praise come God. On. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Come on. For as much as I exalted thee out of the dust, he said, for as much as I exalted thee, out of the dust. Made thee priest over my people Israel. Made him a what? Prince. Wait a minute. Come on. A prince? Come on. Oh, what if I tell you a preacher? Uh -huh. Huh? See, he couldn't be down there in that dust and be in here. Couldn't be in the same place. Huh? 
If he that does that, he's not of him. Go ahead. Because he said he exhort heals out of the dust. Go ahead, brother. Come on. Huh? He don't leave them down in there, huh? And say, hey, go pause. He exhort them out of there, huh? He exhort them out of the dust. And do what? And made him a preacher over his people, God people now. God people. Yes, Lord. God people is the people's design. He said there ain't going to be no uncircumcised shall come in, nor what? Unclean. 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 So here he made him prince over his people. Huh? He prince over his people, so he got to be clean too. Huh? He got to be clean in order to pray God to be over God. Then like God, Harry, praise God. Praise God. Come on. I had walked in the way of Jeroboam. But I walked in the way Jeroboam. of Jeroboam. And had made my people easier to sin. And what did he do? Made my people easier to sin. See, pray God, you're going to have to continue in the right. You go to Job 4 and 17. 4 and 17. Yes, Lord. Okay. My God. Yes, Lord. See, it's something about this dust. Huh? When you think of dust, we were told about Genesis, the second chapter. God created man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril, and man became alive. It's what we've been told. But it don't stop right there. Go ahead, bro. Praise God, if you've been explained and told, that's what that means. You've been told a lie. That's right. Come on, bro. It's lying. It's oh. lying. Huh? It's, lying. it's not? No, you didn't come from dust. It's you didn't come from no monkey eater. Come on, bro. It's lying. It's lying. Huh? Come on, G. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, wonder why God brought his son. Come on. Jesus. He came through uh, Mary womb, huh? Yes, sir. Well, praise God. God said he loved us. And we got to come through. See, that don't make sense. Come out of that dust. Come out of that dust and sit down on the promise of God. Huh? Pray God. God promise. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray God. Glory. Hallelujah. Job 4 and 17. Let's see here. My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So the mortal man be more just than God. What do you say? Shall a mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants. Say, but behold, he put no trust in who? His servants. Um, well, 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 his servant right there called him to do what? Sin. sin. He made no people to sin. Huh? That was his servant. Go ahead, bro. But pray God, hallelujah. But down here, pray God, he said, ain't no more coming in unclean and uncircumcised. Right. See, once you get circumcised or hard, you're going to be, pray God, you can sit down on the promise of God. You're going to be filled with his Holy Ghost. Come on, brother. Go ahead. And he said that it go lead and guide you into all Truth and what righteousness, righteousness. it go do it you, when you follow it, it go lead and guide you into all truth and righteousness. Come on with it. Behold, he put no trust in his servants. Behold, he put no trust in his servant and his angels. He charged with folly. He even charged what angel with folly. you mean, angel. Father, Here's what Paul said. If a bright, shining angel come on. preach 
preach any other gospel unto you that which he has preached. He said, let him be a curse. That's right, amen. Huh? You mean curse? Angels? Sure did. Here are these other angels who lost their habitation. Come on, brother. Go ahead. Huh? They had a habitation, praise God, with God. But as soon, praise God, as they start listening to who? The devil giving them thoughts. Huh? That's all it did. Take them thoughts and go to trying to go. God wasn't going along with it. That's right. He had them. Hey, Michael, put them out. Preach, Jesus. They was in heaven. Come on. But they lost their habitation. Come on, brother. He said, Angel, which is strong and powerful. Huh? And might. Pray God if they get put out. Where you think they at? They in change of darkness. That's right. Huh? In hell, no, they right here on this earth. Praise, brother. Spirit. Right here. He said he made his angel spirits. And his members of flames of fire. So here are these spirits that go forth. Come on, G. Huh? Come on. Giving you things. Come on. Talking. But they ain't giving you nothing that go uplift God. Huh? They gonna give you something, pray God, to pull down so the devil can get on the level with you. Come on, brother. Make it plain. Huh? But you got to have something that's going to reach up Come on. to the heaven. All right. Come on. Huh? Pray God and put you on that level. He bringing you down to the natural man. Pray God. Hallelujah. Well, pray God. He didn't put no trust in them. Come on, brother. He didn't put no trust in them. Huh? He didn't put no trust in them. Huh? Pray God. Hallelujah. So, here he are, right here. Pray God. He didn't put no trust in them, did he? He charged them angel with power. Right, Come on. How much less is them that dwell in houses of clay? How much less is them that dwell? You mean dwell? Dwell, brother. Uh, he talking about a place where you dwell. Come on. Where you worship. Mm -hmm. Huh? Where you worship. Where you dwell in there. Come on, brother. Huh? How much of them that dwell where? Well? In a house of clay. In what kind of house? House of clay. See, you don't want a house like that. That's right. uh, you don't want no clay house. That's right. Because if the wind and the rain and the blood coming or washing up on that clay, it coming down. Right. And great would be the fall of your house. Come on, brother. But if you build it up on a rock, glory to God. Hallelujah. You build it up on something that goes stay. Something that's going to be there. Amen. Praise God. Come on with me. Who foundation is in the dust? Who foundation is where? In the dust. You mean that's why they house built up on clay? Oh, huh? Praise God. You don't want to be up on a house like that. Huh? They foundation is in the dust. Dust is either talking about sin, hot pocket, or nothing. Come on, brother. So you don't want to build your house upon something like that. It got to be up on that rock. Huh? It got to be up on that rock. And that rock is Jesus. That rock is Jesus. Huh, Jesus? That's who that rock is. That's where your house got to be built. Huh? Pray God. Hallelujah. Because the devil going to come. He coming. Did he try Jesus? Yes, sir. Soon as Jesus went there and got started. He told John he need to be baptized. Come on, come on. As soon as he got baptized, came way when it took him a 40 day fast. Woo! I feel good, he probably. Paul was saying how good he feel coming off of that thing. Yeah, Lord. But the Bible said after all he was hunger. Come on, brother. What have he? Come on. Huh? Then come the tempter, huh? Come on. Huh? Come and say, well. If, if, Come on. if thou be the son of God, command these stones be made bread. Don't you know 
He was told who he was growing up. That's right. He was told this. Well, the devil was trying to do something. Trying to put some doubt there. That's right. Huh? See, my Bible says, if you doubt, you're damned. Huh? That's right. See, we serve God by faith. Come on, brother, faith. Huh? Amen. So he had to believe his way in this day. Yeah, this is how the enemy do. He tried to take you, pray God, put down there. Go ahead, G. Put unbelief there. Come on. Right. But pray God, you got to be fully persuaded, though, huh? Right, right. Uh, you got to be rich in faith. I uh, pray God, rich in faith. Because he was trying to stop it. Come on. Then he didn't quit right now. Tried every trick. Huh? This is what he do? Here's somebody you can make a say, well, I'm going to make a stand for God this the new year and I'm changing my life. I'm going to do this. Somebody come right around the corner to throw some kind of Rock there to try to hinder you from your thought. Come on, brother. Hinder you. Come on, brother. And what you don't put forth in your mind, you know deep down inside you're ready. And somebody come right down and making a joke and throw something up there. Oh, you say you going, oh, you know this and this, and then try to put everything before you to stop you. Go ahead, brother. That's true. That's right. This how the enemy operate. Come on, yeah. Because he see where you're trying to stand. You know there's a God. And you know it's, it's a valley there without his power to be able to stand for it. Well, the devil know that too. So he tried to stop you from grabbing hold to the power of God so you'll be able to stand. This is what he's doing. Pray God if he can stop you from grabbing hold to that power, he know you ain't going to make it. Huh? Pray God, hallelujah. You can't get that gift that he promised you. Huh? Right, right. Uh, see, your mind got to be set. He promised me a gift. Yeah, right. And I know I want it. Pray God. Whatever you promise me, right. it got to be good. It got to be some good. Huh? It got to be some good. Huh? Pray God, what blaze is set? How could we let? Such great salvation. Huh? How could you neglect such great salvation? Come on. Huh? Praise God, knowing that all these different tellers he went through. Free, brother, free. Huh? Just imagine you never put things of nowhere in this Bible and have something to build your house upon. And then you go and you go to read it. About a man named Jesus. Come on, huh? And then you wonder why he had to go through all this. If putting something there in your mind, then you get a little bit more. See, you're building your house right Pray. there. You're building your house, Lord God. Because, glory, hallelujah, you might be going through things and trying to find a way how to get out. And pray, God, he's showing you the thing that how he overcame, huh? See, pray, God, by overcoming, pray, God, the world, he began, pray, God, pray, God, to show you how he overcame. How he overcame. It was a war. Huh? It was a battle. Come on. But pray God he wasn't going to give up. Right. Come on. Who foundation is in the dust? Who foundation is where? In the dust. You mean you can build your house down there? If you build your house down there, pray God in the dust, pray God in sin and hot pocket it and say, hey, we all sinners, but we saved by grace. That's in the dust. Uh, you come to Jesus, pray God, he forgive you. When you come to Jesus and repent, he forgive you. Amen. You ain't a sinner no more. Free, brother, free. You taking on a new mind. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You taking the mind of him. Amen. See, my Bible said, let this mind be in you that were also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with him. Huh? See, pray God, hallelujah, glory, God, pray God. The devil look for every kind of way to pull you down. Oh, yeah. 
Huh? This is his job. He want to keep you down at your lower next state. Huh? But here the Lord working, praying God, trying to lift you up. Hey, look what I can do, huh? He trying to show you his side of it. He look like two sides, huh? Look like a warfare going on there, huh? One trying to keep you down, and the other one trying to lift you up, praise God. But you got to put on the arm of God. He said, put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day. Huh? Against the wild of this devil. Because there's a battle. Huh? He want to take you and pull you down. Praise God. And at the end, you won't get the gift that he promised you. Huh? You go to thinking about a gift. Everyone loves gift. Huh? Because you don't know what's in it. Huh? You don't know what's there. He said, but it's a gift. Huh? You say a gift, you try to find some way to want to know what's there. See, I'll tell you, but this one gift. Go ahead, brother. Huh? You see after this gift, praise God, you, you, you'll have gratitude the rest of your life. You'll be gracious the rest of your life that you sought after this gift. Huh? Praise God. Come on. Which are crushed before the mouth. Which are crushed before the mouth. They are destroyed from morning to evening. And they are destroyed for how long? Morning to evening. Morning to evening. All right. <laughs> Praise God. Go to Genesis 2 and 7. Look like he came in here. Huh? We don't want to leave him in someone's mind because of what we've been told. See, we demonstrate. Hallelujah, Jesus. Give me a young man up here. Praise God. Amen. Come on, Z. All right. Let's tell everybody your name. All right. Okay. Now. Could you lay down here real quick? Now, this is what I was, you know, told. You know, and uh, I couldn't accept that. Because my Bible said all liars are going to have their part in the lake that burned with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. told me that scripture means God got down raked up some dust created a man figure read it bro and the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and the Lord God formed man where? out of the dust of the ground out of the dust of the ground see that? and breathed it to his nostrils and breathed it into his nostril. The breath of life. The breath of life. And man became a living soul. The breath of life. He said, <laughs> and he jumped up. Huh? Okay. Just say, hold on, hold on now. Come back here. Now, if that be the case, what kind of sin do he know? Born how? What kind of sin do he know? 
Come on, brother. See, the devil is full of, full of tricks. Come on, Jesus. Huh? He was born now. But we know it didn't happen like that. Huh? God didn't get down. Give me CD young. Huh? It didn't happen like that. It's time to wake up. Shake yourself from the top. Rise and sit down on the promise of God. God wants you to sit down on his promise. He promised you this. I pray God, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Sit down on the promise of God. Amen. Huh? Well, that's why they were sitting at in the upper room. Oh, Jesus. It filled all the house where they were sitting. Yes, Lord. Huh? Yes, it filled all the house where they were sitting. Amen. Where they were sitting. Amen. On the promise of God. Come on, brother. Jesus. On the promise of God. Amen. On the promise of God. Amen. Huh? See, that's where you got to sit, on the promise. Uh, that's your faith right now. You believe in that. Uh, when they pray, God said on the promise of God, they receive their gift. They receive their gift. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, it didn't happen like that. Now, let's read it again, brother. And the Lord God formed men out of the dust of the ground. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils. And breathed. Breathed it where? Into his nostrils. Into his nostrils. The breath of life. The breath of life. And man became a living soul. And man's soul came alive. Man, oh, man. man became a living soul. Man. Man became a living soul. Man. Now, let's see here. Lord. Go to Job 27 and 3. See, praise God. Hallelujah. One thing about God, he said, through his precept, do I get understanding? Therefore, I hate every fourth way. Come on, brother. So let's see what his precept say. Huh? His precept explain what he's talking about. Huh? God ain't gonna have a book and fix up things and be eating your to it. God is all wise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Job 27. 27 and 3. You read your Bible. Alright, come on. All the while my breath is in me. He said, all the while. My breath is in me. And the Spirit of God is in my nostrils. Wait a minute now. He said the Spirit of God. How the Spirit of God get in his nostril? I mean, he, he must have been just being created too. Huh? He must have just been created, but Job was there. How could Job be out there? there? But he got the Spirit of God in his nostril. Huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, he said, Genesis, he breathed in man's nostril. Well, the life and man became. Now, here this man got the same thing now. Huh? You think he was creating the old again? Come on. Uh, the devil just been sowing bad seeds. It's time to rise up. Come on out of the dust. Amen. Sit down on the promise of God and get some understanding, huh? Amen. See, pray God. He said, wisdom is the principal thing. Come on. So God wills him. But with all that get it, get an understanding. You got to understand God. You got to understand God. The devil leads you down on a, a limb. Come on. He tell you to climb a tree and lead you out on that limb. Look how far you can go out on that limb. If you never look back, you won't see what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Huh? But if you look back, hey, what you doing? <laughs> he's trying to saw that limb off because he wants your soul. Amen, amen. That's why it said, what part of a man to gain the whole world and still die and lose his own soul? See, the devil used these words, praise right. God, to keep you in the dust. Right. He got right. you in the dust on that foundation. Right. He got your soul. But when you shake yourself from the dust and rise up on the promise of God, you begin to get somewhere. You can get somewhere. You can get somewhere. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. Come on. All the while my breath is in me. He said, oh, the wow. My what? Breath is in me. My breath is in me. Is where? In me. In me. The Spirit of God is my in me. My breath is in me. Come on, brother. Breath. In him, brother. In me. Come on. And the what? The Spirit of God is in my nostrils. The Spirit of God is where? In my nostrils. Well, what, what is the Spirit of God? Come on, brother. So, go to uh, Job 33 and 4. Yes, Lord. You read your Bible. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, it's time to be saved. Come on, brother. Come on. Don't you know the devil is on the move? He's on the move because he's taking the minds of people. See, you might look back 30 years ago. You might have had 70% of people that were believing in God. But after these 30 years down here, you may not have but 40% of people that believe in God. Well, look like he's getting the move. He on the move, don't he? Look like he's taking more souls away from God. Huh? Because they don't want to believe. But it's time to fight. Amen. That's the battle right there. Right. When God call a person, pray God out of darkness to his light. Huh? It's a war going on. Huh? Because glory to God. He's seeing, pray God, how the devil wants to destroy these souls. How he trying to pull them down. But Jesus want to lift you up. Right, right. See, pray God, we are doing the work of him. He sent both his servant to do his work. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We are servants of the most high God. Thank you, Jesus. We are doing the work of him. Uh, we are doing his work, pray God, that show you that you can live for God. We are showing you, pray God, that salvation is still here right now. We are showing you, pray God, hallelujah, glory to God, that the devil is on the rampage and trying to stamp out everything. Come on, brother. Come on. And the Spirit of God had made me. He said, in Job, the what? The Spirit of God had made me. The Spirit God. of God did what? Made me. Made me. And the breath of the Almighty had given me life. And the breath of the Almighty had given me what? Life. Life. Now one more. Let's see here. And we'll be able to get that lie out of our mind. Thank you, Jesus. Lamentation 4 and 20. Right before Jeremiah. Praise God. Huh? Right after Jeremiah. See, definitely got to be saved. Amen. Yes, Lord. Four and twenty. My God. All this hokaboom gospels that been put forth in the land trying to elevate themselves. Come on, brother. Jesus said if I be lifted up. Huh? Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. Amen. Huh? Come on, brother. Huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. There ain't no big I because I didn't lay my life down for That's nobody. Right. That's right. Come on, brother. Who is the one laying his life down? Jesus. He said, I got power to lay my life down. And the raising of the people. Huh? Come on, brother. Praise God. He was willing and obedient to his father. Amen. Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Limitation 4 and 20. The breath of our nostrils. What is it? The breath of our nostrils. Well, he's been down. Uh, he breathed the man's nostril, the breath, and man became a living soul. The breath of our nostril. The anointing of the Lord. What is it? The anointing of the Lord. Wait a minute now. Is it his anointing or is it air compressor air? Anointing. Yeah, this God's word. Do you think God know what he's talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pray God well. 
How can I sit back and let a man tell me, pray God, that this is talking about man being born out of the dust? Come on, bro. See what I'm talking about? Praise God. But we took that to be, took them to be right. But they wasn't. Somebody got to stand up and tell the truth. Amen. Somebody got to make the devil mad. Right? Huh? You got to tell the truth. What it said, just like it said. He said the breath of our nostrils. Of our nostrils. It was Jeremiah now, huh? On, the breath of our nostrils. Of God anointing. Man. Is this the anointing of the Lord? Holy Ghost. Well, when I received the anointing of the Lord, it was the Holy Ghost. Speak, brother, it was the Holy Ghost. Was his anointing? Uh, I wasn't created out of no natural dust, uh, but I was in the dust, though, huh? But I needed to come out, praise God. My glory to God. I rise up and sit down on the promise of God. I just sit down on his promise, huh? When I sat down on that promise, he gave it to me, too. He gave it to me. Huh? Pray God, he still gave it. Come on, brother. All you got to do is receive him by faith. Praise God. Go to 1 Corinthians 15, 34. Come on, Jesus. Praise God. My God, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's go. Yes, sir. They wake to righteousness. Do what? They wake, wake to righteousness. Wait a minute. He told them back there, I'll do what? Awake, awake. awake. Put on strength. Right. So when you put on strength, you put on what? Holy Ghost, which is the righteousness. Righteous you put on his righteousness. Yes, Lord. His righteousness now. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God ain't talking about you in no bed, sleeping. I'm so tired. Huh? You ought to be able to get your rest. Something wrong with you, you know? Huh? But he ain't talking on a natural level. He said, awake to what? Righteousness. Righteousness. Sin not. And do what? Sin not. Sin not. Some have not the knowledge of God. Wait a minute. <laughs> the reason that they do, they do what? Some have not. Some have not the knowledge of God. The knowledge of God. I speak this to their, your shame. I speak this to your, to your shame. Some men will say. Some men will say. How the dead raised up. How is the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? And with what body do they come? The food. The food. That which thou sowest is not quickened. The food. That which thou sowest is not quickened. Except it die. Except it do what? Die. You mean die? Come on, bro. Nah, it ain't gonna be quickest. Come on, you gotta die. Oh, you can tell me die. Come on, it's die, bro. Uh, when you think of death, you're looking at natural death. Come on. Huh? Pray God, everybody think it's natural, natural, natural. Huh? But this is a spiritual book. Yes, sir. Good God trying to show you to come out of the dust, huh? He's trying to get you on his promise. Get you looking to the promise of him. Come on. And that which thou sowest. And that which thou sowest. Thou sowest not that body that shall be. Thou sowest not that body which shall be. But bare grain. But bare grain. It made chance of wheat. That it made chance of wheat. Or some other grain. Or some other grain. But God give it a body. But God give it a body. As it had well pleased him. As it had what? Well pleased him. As it had pleased him. And to every seed, his own and body. And to every seed, his own body. Our flesh is not the same flesh. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there's one kind of flesh of men. But there's one kind of flesh of men. Another flesh of beasts. Another flesh of beasts. Another fish. Another of fish. And another bird. And another bird. There are also celestial bodies. There are also 
Ghost shall let the body. And body are to rest. But the glory of the Celestia is one. And the glory of the Terrestrial is another. There's one glory of the sun. There's one glory of the sun. And another glory, and another glory of the moon. And another glory, and another of, glory of star. One star different from another star in glory. One star on. different from what? Another star in glory. Wait a minute now. You think he talking about up in the sky? Yes, sir. Uh, because glory to God, Jesus said, if those ordinances depart from before me, said the Lord, then the seed of Israel shall also cease from being a nation before me forever. forever brother. Huh? Well, he nailed them ordinances to it, crawled the oh, stars yeah. and the moon and all that stuff. Huh? He nailed that to it, crawled and took it out of the way. Lord. If he did that, it wouldn't be nothing out there. Mm. Lord Jesus. But he wasn't speaking of that. Come on, brother. Didn't have nothing to do with going up into space and the atmosphere and all that stuff. Huh? Praise God, he talking about star. Come on. He talking about all these different things, but you got to have knowledge, huh? Please, brother, uh, if you ain't got knowledge, what he talking about? He said you got to wait till righteousness come. On, see, praise God and see it now. When you pull off the sin, he'll start giving you his knowledge. He said my people were destroyed for the lack of knowledge. He said my people were destroyed. destroyed. Huh? You mean God allowed them to be destroyed? Come That's on. right, because they didn't seek out his knowledge. Come on, Jesus. They didn't seek out his knowledge. Come on. Come on. So also is the resurrection of the dead. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is sown in what? Corruption. Corruption. Raised in incorruption. And it raised how? In incorruption. Wait a minute. Corrupt? Come on. It's sown in what? Corruption. Corruption? Well, pray God. He said the body is. What's wrong with your body? It ain't did nothing. Something on the inside on, did brother. something. Come on. Huh? That body don't do no thinking. Something on the inside think and tell that body what to do. That's right. When you thinking, you thinking how to how to uh, keep your body healthy. You said, well, feel like I'm thirsty. You go and get you some water and pour it in, and you drink it, protecting that body. That's right. Some try to come there and go try to hit you. Some say, get out the way of that. You get out the way to protect that body. Huh? So I'm telling you to protect it. Come on, brother. Well, pray God, the body, pray God itself in one. And there's another body on the inside oh, yeah, that, that speaks and tell, control that body. Amen. See, it's housing the real you on the inside yeah. until the point in time, motherfucker. See, you came from God and you trying to get back there. That's right. Yeah. Huh? And if you don't make it back there, pray God, it ain't going to be nobody's fault. Mm. Huh? Because glory to God, he said his word going out in all the world. Come on, brother. He gonna pray God, his word gonna go out. Right. It gonna talk, it gonna do this, do things to try to get you to draw you to him. Oh, but pray God, do it all, glory to God. Going out, pray God, some go here, some not go here. Come on. It is sown in dishonor. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It raised in what? Glory. In glory. It is sown in weakness. It's sown in what? Weakness. Weakness. It is raised in power. Wait a minute now. How is it raised? In power. You put that power on? That's right. So in order to put the power on, you have to shake yourself from the dust. Go ahead, brother. Come on. Huh? And rise up on the promise of him. Come on. Huh? To be raised in power, huh? Yes, See, he got power that he want to give you. On, and pray God and not the power. Pray God of the world. Huh? That will help you to fight this battle. See, there's no spiritual warfare going on, huh? Because he wants you to raise, be raised in power, huh? Huh? That's why you got to pray God. Shake yourself from the dust. Come on. It's sown in a natural body. Sown in a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. And it raised a what? 
spiritual body. A spiritual body. There's a natural body. There's a natural body. And there's a spiritual body. Wait a minute, you got a some on the inside? Come on, brother. Come on. Huh? Oh, yeah. There's a natural body. Spiritual but body. But there's a spiritual body. Come on. As it is written. As it is written. First man Adam. The first man Adam. Was made a living soul. Was made a living soul. The last Adam. And who? The last Adam. Wait a minute. It's another Adam? Because another Adam came Third. on the scene. Oh, another Adam. Come on, oh, my God, we heard about Adam and Eve. But what about this last Adam? Huh? See, the world don't look at this last Adam. Pray God. He will put here too. His last Adam made a quick spirit. What well, made who? Quick spirit. Is that Jesus? Is that Jesus? Uh, he said, I didn't come to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. He was made quick in the spirit. He's the last Adam. Uh, see the first Adam fell by transgression. Uh, so God when he did this thing all over King. Uh, saw that son off as a little baby, huh? Raised the boy, had to go up under the law. When they knew what sin was. Showed them the law, what sin really was. After they spread the Ten Commandments, went through that law. Pray God at the fullness of time. He heard cousin John out there having a baptism. Come on, Jesus. He decided to go out there. I need to be baptized or need. But John forbade and said, How coming down to me? I need to be baptized or deep. Jesus said, Suffer to be so now. Come on. But does be coming up to fulfill all righteousness. See, here at the beginning of the last hour, to fulfill all righteousness right there. Huh? Pray God. So here he was. Pray God went there, got baptized. Here come the devil. Wonder why I did him got baptized. Took him up 40 day fast. Here he come. To put a stop to him. Huh? That's what he wanted to do, put a stop there. See the devil seeing you seeing you putting your foot in the right path. Uh, you better be where I pray God. He gonna come and try to give you every dog that you that don't this and that don't that. But you got to stand on the promise of God. Uh, see salvation is individual. When the Lord comes talking to you, he ain't coming to everybody at the same time. He coming directly to you. He talking to you. Uh, Praise God. God, hallelujah. Oh, God. See, praise God, that's why he said, Come on. believe not every spirit, but rather do what? Try the spirit, Try the spirit to Come see on. what it be of God. Yeah. Huh? If the spirit are true, go tell the truth. Right. I ain't going to be right now showing you the same Amen. thing. Amen. You can't say, hey, I heard this. You can say, I read this. When you read and pray, God, you can't go wrong, huh? Unless hey, hey. you don't believe what you read, huh? huh? Then the devil come, he'll come the devil. Try to take that goodness out your heart, huh? But that's where you got strength. You know the fight, glory, God. But if you ain't got that strength, you ain't got that to fight with. That's why he wants you to put on the whole of God that you might be able to withstand. That's the evil day. That's the evil day right there. That's the evil day. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on. How be it that was not first which is spirit? How be it that not first which is spirit? But that which is natural. But that which is natural. And after that which is spirit. But after that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth. The first man of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven. And the second man is the Lord from heaven. As in the earthy. As in the earthy. Such are they also that are earthy. So as they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly. And as is the heavenly. Such, are such they as they also heavenly. that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy. As we did what? We born the image of the earth. We shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Huh? We born the image of the earth. But wonder why? Because of that law. Okay. He said that the law was our schoolmaster. 
to bring us to Christ, huh? This is what it did, brought us to Christ, huh? We didn't just stick right there and say, hey, we gonna keep the Ten Commandments, huh? But we came to the place where we go establish the Ten Commandments, huh? Praise God, hallelujah, glory to God, praise God. Come on. Now this I say, brethren. Now this I say, brethren. That flesh and blood cannot inherit. The flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither do corruption inherit incorruption. Neither do corruption inherit what? Incorruption. So he let you know about this flesh and blood? There's nobody here? Oh, you ain't worried about it. Huh? Pray God, hallelujah. Come on. All I show you a mystery. He said, but behold, I show you a what? Mystery. A mystery. We shall not all sleep. We shall not all sleep. But we shall all be changed. But what? We shall all, all be changed. changed. We shall all be what? Changed. Huh? Come on. It's going to be a change in your life, huh? I said a change got to come now. Huh? He said, but we all shall be changed. In a moment. How quick? In a moment. In a moment. In a twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. But the trumpet shall sound. But the trumpet shall sound. In the dead shall be raised and corrupt. And what? Wait a minute now. He said flesh and blood is not going to hurt the king. Huh? Well, ain't nothing going down to the six foot hole blow a trumpet. Come on, brother. Huh? But pray God, what about the trumpet being blown inside? He said, blow the trumpet. I'm blowing it now. Do you hear? Do you hear the trumpet today? Huh? I'm blowing the trumpet, pray God. Huh? He the hands of the ear. He said, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. He the hands of the ear. Let him hear what the Spirit said to the church. Huh? Pray God. He said, but the trumpet shall sound. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. The dead gonna be what? Raised incorruptible. Me ain't gonna be corrupt no more. Come on, well, he showed us about the natural man. Come on, brother. And the spiritual man. Come on. He said, start telling you about that spiritual man, how it is sown in what? Come on. Weakness and raised in power, huh? I mean, it ain't gonna be corrupt. The devil can't use it no more. Huh? Pray God, hallelujah. He's showing you about this, huh? When you read it all down, huh? He was showing you how it was so, huh? Praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. Come on. The dead shall be raised incorruptible. And the what? The dead shall be raised incorruptible. The dead? Yes, sir. See. Come on. Praise God. He that has. Not the spirit of God, he said, is none of his. This means just like God spoke in the book of Genesis. He told Adam, he said, in the day that you eat that all, your living soul will go die. Huh? Will go die? Come on. Wait a minute. If you go to look in natural and find reverend, you find out Adam lived 800 years since Seth was born. Right. Right. And that was some poison. That was some slow poison, wasn't it? Come on, brother. Said, man, they got any more of that poison? You live 800 years out. But I'm just showing a point. It wasn't natural. Go ahead, brother. But he died. Well, by death, the Bible said death reigned from Adam to Moses. Come on, brother. And it said by one man life, life reigned from death. Amen. Well, that life that we put on is Jesus Christ, which calls us to live. Oh, we call us to live, we're putting on that life. The life that we now live, we live it through the faith of the Son of God. It's no more I that live it. Hey, Huh? Because we put on that life. The life of God. Yes, Lord. Huh? Just like God took his life back from Adam. Amen. 
huh? He gave it to us down here. Come on. Huh? We put that that, that life on. Yes, Lord. See, praise God. They bought, they dust, they ashes. I mean, they dust. Come on. We bring in our ashes. Burn out. Come, we are burnt out with the world. Amen. We see Jesus told us in the book of Revelation. He said to him that overcome it will I give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the midst of the paradise of God. Come on, brother. Here Jesus was on the cross. Come on. Here that thief was right there with him. Here that acting was on the other side. And told him. Once rose up and said, the thief rose up and said, If thou be the son of God, won't you get us down from here? See, the thing was, he just got caught in his room. Huh? He didn't have no repentance yet. Huh? He wanted to stay in that dust, huh? Huh? Pray God, hallelujah. But the other one said, But do y'all have any fear of God? Come on, brother. But what we done, we get our rightly due reward. Huh? On, but bro. this man haven't done nothing. Nothing to miss. It'll Come on, Jesus. He looked at him. Said, sir, remember me. Oh. When I get in that kingdom. Yeah, Lord. Jesus looked at him because he looking on his heart. Oh, oh, he wasn't looking at his outward oh, He was looking up on the heart of his Lord. He said, remember me. When I get in that kingdom. He told him, today shall thou be with me in paradise, huh? Come on, brother. He wanted to get out of that dust, huh? See, the devil could have you bound in dust. Hey, uh, that dust that buzz in that old God hole, huh? Hey. And the more you move, Come on. the deeper you get like quicksand, huh? Come on, you don't know how to get out. But I tell you, I know a church called a church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Showing you the way. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Glory to God. That no man come to the Father. He said, but by me. Amen. And into the straight gate of the mountain. Praise Jesus, come live inside your home. Press for the Holy Ghost and fire.
Sí.